much of the Midwest and East Coast are dealing with another day of below freezing temperatures, well below, and it caused hundreds of flight cancellations. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom live at LAX. Good morning. Good morning. Number of flights coming and going from LAX here will be affected, but take a look behind us here. The good news is here in United. Uh, at United this morning, the 7 a.m. flight to Chicago leaving on time. We just spoke with one relieved, bundled up family. Just packed as many layers as we possibly could. Got snow jackets. We, we used to go to the Big Bear, so it's supposed to be way colder than up there, so we just overpacked probably. Manuel Guzman's family there will be celebrating a new nursing degree for him. Let's go to video of the historic deep freeze that has shut down parts of the Midwest and Northeast. At least nine deaths now linked to the weather, some of them from massive pileups on interstates. And for the second day in a row, the U.S. Postal Service has canceled mail delivery in some areas. Today, Chicago expected to break the city's record low, which is minus 27. And guess who's there? UCLA's men's volleyball team. They're on a road trip. Fortunately, they will be playing indoors, but the team had to borrow warmer cover-ups from the football team just to get around. Peter Seraph, the good news as well is that the thaw is, is expected to start tomorrow.